We've used functions available in MATLAB before, like sqrt, to find the square root of a number. But there are also functions to visualize data, import an image, or even perform a matrix LU decomposition. There are thousands of MATLAB functions that help us with a wide variety of tasks. But if we're going to leverage all that functionality, how do we use a general MATLAB function? The standard syntax for any MATLAB function is like that of a mathematical function. We have the function name, the argument enclosed in parentheses, and we can assign the result to an output variable. There can even be lots of inputs and lots of outputs depending on the function. Let's start with the basics. Many familiar mathematical functions, like sine, logarithm, or the exponential, follow this same pattern and take on similar names as MATLAB functions. Now, because MATLAB was designed for matrices, mathematical functions like sine can accept a vector or matrix as an input. The output will be an array of the same size, where the function is applied to each element. But MATLAB functions are more general. Take this command, for example. What do you think it returns? If you guessed negative 1, you're correct. When we pass a vector to the min function, it returns the smallest value in the vector. What you may not have known is that the min function can also tell us the location of the smallest value. Here, it tells us the location is 4, since the smallest value of the vector is negative 1 which happens to be the fourth element of the vector. Many MATLAB functions can return multiple outputs by asking for them individually, inside a set of square brackets. Similarly, many functions accept multiple inputs. The plot function takes a vector of x values and a vector of y values and generates a line plot which connects all the points represented by the x-y pairs. If you're curious about other MATLAB functions, you can look them up in the documentation. Each function's documentation will show it in a format that looks something like this. It'll then describe the various inputs and outputs so you can learn how to use the function correctly. Try looking up a function like scatter or mean and see if you can put it to use.